doesn't want us to talk about this at home. So that's why I am here. Since she's going to forget whatever thing that happened yesterday. Well, Silva is the problem here. She will have to tell me where she got my picture from. She must tell me. But what if she truly found the picture at Prince's house? Then it's very simple. The prince in question must have to come out and tell me how my picture got to his place. Because I don't know him. To me, I understand. But all I'm saying is let her just settle this amicably without having any grudges with anybody. But she started it first. She started it. I mean, the way she approached me was not nice. She angered me by doing that. You know. It's alright. I will talk to her. And I believe she will understand. You better talk to her. The prince must have to come out and explain how my picture got to his place. He must explain no. He must. But to maybe what if this prince is someone you know from years back? That's not true. I have never met anyone by the name Prince. Yeah, I had a friend during my NYSC days, but then the person's name was Ugonea. Really? Yes, really. So I don't know where she got all this rubbish from. I honestly do not know. Well, I will be having a meeting with Charles today. Yes, and I do not have any choice but to tell him about my father's son. Are you breaking up with him? I honestly do not have an answer to that question of yours now. But I wish all this never happened. I mean, I wish Gonia wasn't the father of my son. Then all this wouldn't have even happened in the first place. That's all right, though, maybe. Just put yourself together. And just let the will of God be done. You'll be fine. Well, I have a choice. I have to go now. All right, okay. I'll see you. Take care, sis. Did you see the lady that just left my house as we were leaving? Yeah, I saw a beautiful lady leaving the compound as we were going out. She's one of them. Is she the one that had a song for you? No, but I met her first. Um, well, when I returned um, from the States, my brother, seriously, I'm in a serious feast. Like, I've been thinking a whole lot lately. I have to choose between one of them and... <sighs> well, if I were you, I would choose the one that had a song for me. You know why? Because men who rejected children that were born to them, before they got married, end up being childless in their own marriage. Mm, you're right. Very correct. At least a better hand is, is better than millions in the bush you get. But I love this lady. I've grown to love her. You get. And the point now is I had proposed to her. You have to use your number six first because this is marriage not relationship seriously i've been thinking a whole lot lately like so i'm thinking uh, was i fast to propose was i i mean this whole thing is, is, is let's look for somewhere to just just chill and think of life man there are two women in my life yeah. i'm in love with one and the other of my kids Somebody tell me what to do yeah. Ifani, what is it? What is wrong with you? How many times have I made it clear that it's over between us? Why are you following me about? Sita, what has come over you? What have I done to you? Well, you have done nothing to me. But I don't want anything to do with you again. Why is it so hard for you to understand? There is nothing to understand. You can't just wake up one morning and tell me you're done with me without a reason. Reason or no reason, I am done with you. Get that into your face, go and stop following me about. No way. You must tell me your reason. If I, you're harassing me, this is front of a supermarket and I came here to shop. Can I go in, please? Look at him. Who is that lady with you? I don't know. Sylvia, what is your reason? Okay. 
since I won't show, you can have the supermarket. In fact, have the whole building. Meet me. Maybe she's the one. Maybe. See? Oh, she's walking out. This guy is so annoying. Hey! Look at her. Hey! Just look at the way he's following her. My God! <laughs> this is serious. Seriously, let's, let's, let's just sleep. Let's sleep. You said you don't want fish. Oh, yes. I'm very okay with the drink. Babe, you look worried. What is the matter? I am really worried. I am. Share with me. Okay? I honestly do not know how you're going to feel about this. But I have no choice. I have to tell you. Are you pregnant? No, I'm not pregnant. But it has to do with us. Listen, Charles. I haven't told you this before. I have a son. You have a son? Yes, I do. Well, if that is the case, you don't have any problem. I will accept the boy to be my son by the time we get married. That is not it. Listen, okay. I'll just give you a brief of it. Okay. I got pregnant eight years ago. And I lost contact with my friend that got me pregnant. Okay. And then I had the baby. My boy is grown now. He's all about knowing his father. He's so intelligent that he give, he questions me almost all the time about the father. And I can't keep dodging it all the time. Okay, to cut the whole story short, I have reconciled with my son's father. And then, um, what has that got to do with our relationship? I told you as for the boy, I will accept him as my son. After all, he got you pregnant and abandoned you. That was what I thought until I met him. Listen, Charles. You need to understand with me. Now I'm compelled to do so many things I never wanted to do. All because of this little boy. I don't have a choice, my dear. Please try and understand with me. Understand what? Understand what? What do you take me for? A fool? No. I have told you I will accept the boy. So what else do you want me to say? Listen, I, I need you to really understand See, we I... have come we have come a long way for you to start telling me this bullshit. As for the boy, I will accept him. I don't care who the person is, but I know nobody can take you away from me. Nobody. Charles. I'm sure that lady must be the one he told you he's in a serious relationship with. I thought as much. But did you notice the way she walked out on him? It simply shows they're having issues with each other. And the idiot was just the most oh, just looking like a goat. Hey! Huh? Oh. You know, he was shocked when he saw me. And but Rita, 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 Very we, shocked. Rita, we F up. We made a mistake. We would have stayed back to monitor that girl. Yes. Mm. I've been, you know, because that girl face looks very familiar. I'm just trying to remember where I met her. I, I can't remember. I need facts about that girl. She must be the reason if Annie is messing up with me. <laughs> mm. Okay. All I know is that I've met that girl. I know I've met that girl before. I don't seem to remember where. Babe, I beg. Have Look at them, my body. Make her go eat. Let me just go and eat first. Then I'll know what to do to that idiot. I have met that bitch before. I know, but I don't seem to remember where. Silver. Why didn't Prince come today as discussed? I did not see him. That is a fat lie. You met him today. And how did you know we met today? So why didn't he come here as agreed? You won't force words into my mouth. Ah, okay. You know what? Maybe he's right. You're lying to us. Silva is lying to us. 
And as far as I'm concerned, this case must end this night. You must tell me where you got my picture from. You must tell me. Oh. Can't you just calm down to me, B? Calm down for what? Why are you telling me to calm down? Oh, because you're not the one rightly involved. Now you can talk. You may be, I already told you where I got your picture before. You didn't tell me nothing. I mean, why didn't the guy in question come here and tell me when and how my picture got to his house? <laughs> hey, baby, baby, please. Just shut up. What is the meaning of this? Eh? Do maybe I should be the one asking you questions? How did your picture get to my boyfriend's house? Oh, is it because I've been quiet? Because I want peace to reign? Is that why you two want to want, want to kill me? Well, I won't let it happen. Look at this idiot, peacemaker. Are you mad? If you call me an idiot one more time, do maybe? Hey, do maybe? If you call me an idiot one more time, what will you do? You are, in fact, you are a bigger idiot. A bigger one! What will you do? I want more work for you. In the beginning, I will teach you this. You can't do anything, please. Silver, you're causing trouble in my house. I mean, I can't even believe what I'm hearing. That's all you have to say, mother. That I am causing trouble in your house. Mother, you were seated here. Your daughter called me an idiot. You did not caution her. Not even a word. And now Silva is causing problems in your house. It's okay. I'll leave you all to have your peace so I don't cause problems anymore. But as for you, you, do baby, what? you, what? leave us, just go. Go. But remember, it is not yet over until it's over. You must tell me where you got my picture from. Can you imagine the nonsense? Hey, mommy, what baffles me most is that that picture was taken years ago during my days in NYC camp. So, how did the picture get to Silva? How? Sister, calm down now. Mommy, calm down. Sis. Sis, I'm, I'm really sorry for everything. I'm deeply sorry for what we did to you. So sorry. Silver, we are still one family. We are so sorry, sis. We are really sorry. The truth is that I don't even know this prince of a guy. I've never met him. I've not even been to his place. So I was surprised when you said you saw my picture in his house. Please, it is not worth being a problem between you and I. Really sorry, dear. Mixes, please. We're sorry. Please. Like Sandra said, we are one big family. Yes. It's okay, okay? Stop crying. Please. It's okay. You say it's okay. You all are saying you're sorry. But you can't do against me. You refused to believe me when I said I didn't know how her picture got to Prince's house. You're telling me you're sorry. I'm sorry, please. Let my go, let my go. It's not easy. Let me go. Let me go. It is true, I wanted to bury the hatchet with Silva. But I'm still bothered about how my picture got into 
prince's house. How did he get my picture? Or is it that someone gave it to him? But how could that be? I still need to set my eyes on this so-called prince of a man. Maybe seeing him might solve this whole problem. Um, please go to the oh are you there okay go to ward three check on that woman there please make sure she takes her medication all right oh my god are you okay mom i'm hungry let's start going i know you're hungry but just have to calm down, okay? Your auntie will soon be here, so we're gonna have lunch. Mom, isn't Silver coming? Mm-hmm. Yay! She's going to have lunch with us. Hmm. Oh, she's already calling. Hello, Silver. Oh, okay. What are you doing here? Don't tell me your dad is here. Yeah, but if he is the hospital. Oh my goodness, what a small world. What are you doing here? Oh, well, I'm here to see my sister. We're supposed to have lunch together. And then I've just been. Oh, here she comes. That's my sister doing. Wait, your sister. Telling you about my fiance. What are you talking about? This is the father of my son, the Ugonia I've always told you about. So, what are you saying? No, this is my This is Prince. Same Prince I've been telling you about. What? Jesus Christ, what kind of coincidence is this? What have I gotten myself into? Oh, Jesus Christ. How was I to know they are sisters? Huh? What can... Oh, Jesus Christ. What do I do now? What do I do? Yeah, Andy. Where are you? Oh, okay, okay. Just wait for me there. I'm coming, eh? My brother, there's a problem. When I come first. to understand how this picture got to Prince's house. To maybe took this picture about eight years ago. See you back. I don't know your back. Why is your face like this? Are you okay? Are you dating Prince? What did you just say? I asked a simple question. Are you dating Prince? Is this some sort of joke or what? Of course it is not a joke. You maybe tell me, how did this picture get to Prince's house? <laughs> Prince's house? Yes. 
this picture? I don't understand you, my sister. Okay, listen. The last thing I want you to do right now is pretend. Please just come out with the truth and tell me already. I didn't say the truth. How did your picture get to Prince's house? No, Silva. You are the one who should tell me the truth. What are you talking about? This picture you have in here is mine. And it was taken eight years ago. So what exactly are you doing with my picture? Where did you get it from? What is the problem here? See, Mr. Trouble. I was just here on my own. Silva came up with this picture, saying that she got it from Prince's house. Asking me what the picture is doing there. I don't even know who the prince is. I have never met him. I don't know who he is. So what are you talking about? You know exactly what I am talking about. And what I'm trying to understand is why you are shouting. I asked you a simple question. This right here is your picture. How did it get to Prince's house? <laughs> Silva, did you ask Prince about this picture? Oh, well, I did not. Because I am suspecting that my sister right here is dating Prince. Oh, no, Silva. You're way bigger than this. Do not belittle yourself. I mean, do not allow me to see you as a fool. Oh, yeah. Jimmy, this is the last time I will take another insult from you again. I won't stand there and watch you insult me. No, I, I will. Won't. I will insult you. As a matter of fact, you are a bigger fool to have thought in this little head of yours that I have something to do with a man I have never met. What is wrong with you? Maybe I'm warning you. No, you won't warn me. I am warning you. You will not stand warning me. I am warning you. You will not warn me. What is wrong with you? Hey, why are you man? What is going on? Oh God, mother, please, with whatever you hold dear, warn your daughter. What do maybe else I will deal with her mess? You will do nothing. What I mean, nothing. Absolutely nothing. You can't do anything. Listen, please, just calm down. What is the problem, mother? Nobody should tell me to calm down. I am not going to calm down. I want you quiet. Tell her to tell me the truth. How did her picture get to my fiancé's house? Everybody's acting like I'm sounding crazy, but I know what I'm saying. How did this picture get to my fiancé's house? But of house? course you are sounding crazy, and that is why I will not stop calling you a big fool. You still haven't told me what you're doing, my picture. Where did you get this picture of mine from, mother? Warn her. Do you Ask her where she got my picture from. Do I will not take any rubbish from her. I don't need to say what. Oh, will you shut up? What will you say? Shut up, Silva. What is wrong with you? You started this nonsense. Hey? I started what? You were here the whole time she was insulting me and you said nothing and now you're asking me to shut up? Why? I won't take this. All I want is for her to explain to me just a simple explanation how this picture got to my fiance's house. Let me have that picture. By the way, who is your fiance? The one that gave you an appointment and disappointed you. <laughs> eh? Mm, not disappointed. Silva, just calm down so we can settle this amicably. I don't want to calm down. I just want her to explain to me how her picture got to my fiance's house. And mother is standing here supporting her. Oh no, Silva, don't even go there because it is not over yet. If you don't give me a satisfactory explanation on how that picture got into your hands, I swear I'm going to take this up from here. You're gonna take it up. Yes! See this whole thing you're doing? This whole thing is a charade. It's a camouflage and you know it. Now listen, <laughs> Silva. Listen! <laughs> when you saw this picture at Prince's house, did you ask him how it got there? I did not. Oh, you see, Mother? You didn't! And you were here blabbing over a man? What is wrong with you? See, Mother. This daughter of yours is nothing but a blatant liar. I am telling you, do not be surprised that the prince of a guy might not even know anything about this picture. And she's here making troubles. Now listen, you have to go and bring that prince face to face. We have to talk about this. Yes, we have to. Yes, that is exactly what we are going to do. Invite him here. Let him come and clear himself. Yes, so tomorrow, tomorrow. If you don't do that, uh -huh, there will not be peace in this house. <laughs> I won't let it happen. Do you think she's smart? She claims not to know a prince or even anything about the picture. Very well then. We shall see who laughs last because I will fight. I will fight to claim what rightfully belongs to me. 
no matter who is standing behind her. So, Ugonia is the so-called prince that Siva has always talked about. He did not cross my mind when Silva came home with my picture she found in his house. He didn't even occur to me that Prince is my Gonia. Hello. Hi. Okay. Good day. Good day. Have a seat. Thank you. I bought these beautiful dresses for you. Won't you check them? Oh, I'm sorry, I can't accept it. Why? What is wrong with you? You want us to start going all over this again? All over what? Am I not talking to you? Are you okay? Listen, I don't want to go all over this again. I have already explained the situation of things to you. All you need to do is to just understand with me. Yeah, I disappointed you, but I'm sorry about that. I can continue. I can see you are hell-bent in destroying my life. Tell whoever that is advising you that he or she is endangering your life. Because nobody tries as my calability and remain the same. Yes. If you think I can leave you for another man, you are making a very big mistake. You better have everything. Is this yes. a threat or what? Are you threatening me? Don't allow me to do what both of us will regret. What's the meaning of this rubbish? Now get out of my office. Maybe if I can't have you, nobody can. Charles, leave my office. Take this thing, take this thing and get out. What nonsense. You, you're threatening me? Oh, goodness. Brother, I was so shocked to the bone marrow. I couldn't believe my eyes. Come see confusion. Sylvia was calling me Prince and Dumebi was calling me Ogunaya. Like, I was damn confused. I, I felt like a dog on a leech. Hmm. One, it is not your fault. But somehow, you are to be blamed. How? Yes, because you are too fast in proposing to Siva. You just met this lady. And immediately you proposed to her. You should have given her some time, at least, to study her. You don't have to blame me, okay? Because I didn't know I was going to meet Dumebi again. Do you know how long I searched for her? That is why I said it is risky to rush such thing. You understand? If you did not rush it, you wouldn't have fought this victim. Well, look, I, I didn't call you here to, to, to start blaming me, all right? But I want us to put heads together and know what to do because I'm confused. Well, you cannot marry two sisters at the same time. That is a problem. Like, that is a damn problem. I, I don't even know who to choose. Dumebi has a baby for me and I've grown to love Sylvia. So, the whole thing is complicated. You see, I'm also confused. You are the one who know these girls. Take your time. Do not rush so that you will not make a mistake. Silver, you have heard what uh, Dumebi said. And I plead with you to forget about your affair with Ugonaya. I should forget my affair with who? Ugonaya. Mother, you know that is not even possible. I won't even think about it. I won't give it a second thought. For what? 
fine. She meant to go Naya before me. I accepted. I don't have a problem with that. But mother, that was in the past. We are talking about the present. This young man lost contact with her, met me and proposed to me, showing indication that he has forgotten his past and living in his present. Please, kindly tell your daughter to stay away from Ogunaya. Biko, you have lost your sanity. You're just talking rubbish. Oh, I'm talking rubbish. Yes, whether I am talking rubbish, that is none of my business. It is even none of your own business. Just stay away from my man. Uh, well, you're deceiving yourself, my dear. I do not blame you. Keep blabbing. And I ask you again. Are you aware that the young man in question is Ebuka's father? So? I should jump into the lagoon because it's Ebuka's father. Mother, that is none of my business. I don't care. If he wants to adopt Ebuka as his son, mm, but that will be after our wedding. Accepted. But Dumebi should not use her son as an excuse to take my man away from me. Can you hear yourself speak? I mean, can you see how senseless you are? Talking rubbish. Anyway, I don't have time for whatever you're saying. But just have it in this little head of yours. That Ugonia <laughs> is mine and mine forever. Yes, of course it is. Yes, I don't deny it. You're betting on it. Yes! You're betting on it. How would I bet you? What nonsense is this? Just hey! Me. What is wrong with my sisters? Why are you two fighting each other over a man? No, nothing is wrong with me. Tell Silver to go back to her wretched boyfriend and leave my man alone. She should go back to her boyfriend. <laughs> Let me wait, wait. All of the night, you are talking about me going back to my boyfriend. You that left Charles because you saw a rich man uncle. You're not just stupid, but you're also insensitive. Who left Charles? Who left Charles? Well, God knows I did not leave Charles for anybody. I left him because of my son. My son wants to be with his father and his father wants to be with me as well. So what nonsense are you saying? What about you? Why did you leave Ifani? Why did you leave Ifani? Why? You should be ashamed of yourself. Mother, please. Water. Water! And I will take any insults from my You are a shit What do you do? You are a shit And what else I can do? Um, please. Oh, no, no, no. What's that? Um, Silver. You are causing confusion in my house. I've told you exactly what to do, but you refused. What exactly do you want? Mom, please take it easy with her. Hey! And you, will you shut up? One shut up! Two. What do you want? That's all you have to say. As a mother, that is all you have to say. It's all right. I understand exactly what is going on in this house. She is your daughter. I am not. So you always take sides with her. I don't have a problem. Just continue. But I want to let you and you know. You see this battle? <laughs> you must move what? Who are you for money? Eh? What you said it now? You are in love with her. Oh, my father. Can you imagine how senseless this girl is? She doesn't even care. She said after her wedding, she cannot come and come and claim every cover. I will be fed up by you. Don't tell me to do you come down also. You were here, she was doing all sorts, eh? You couldn't say anything. Listen, sister, calm down. Don't calm me down, though. I don't want to calm down. Call me an orphan. They say I am homeless. And they try to take the only thing that gives me. Hi, sis. <laughs> Siva, please, can I talk to you? Sandra, as far as you all are concerned in this house, I do not want to speak to anybody. Please. Siva, why are you sounding this way? I've not done anything wrong to you. Well, how about you going to talk to your sister to stay away from my man? Siva, so you don't appreciate the fact that I came to talk to you? Oh, you came to talk to me. You know, you all are just too sentimental in this house. I have come to realize that I'm all by myself. So please, just let me be. Please. Silva, I don't like the way you sound these days. Well, since you want to be left alone, I will let you be. I will fight. I will fight. If no one speaks for me. I will speak for my
myself I will fight I will fight No Surprised to see me, right? Well, um, it's good to see you again. See, I've been looking out, looking out for you after the last time we met at the supermarket. It was just yesterday I got to know that you work at the hospital and that you normally come to eat here. What do you want from me, John K? Oh, do I be? You left me with no choice. I was so worried about you. Now, tell me, who was the little boy I met you with at the supermarket? Should I say you're jobless or what? Now you listen and listen very attentively. Junkie or whatever your name is called. Stay away from me and anything that has to do with me generally. Do you understand that? Rubbish. Maybe. What class is he? <laughs> Busy three. Really? He must be very intelligent. He is really, really intelligent. <laughs> I think boy. he got that from you. I swear to mm. <laughs> Big boy. Yeah. Auntie! Hello. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine, Auntie. Mm -hmm. Auntie, guess what? What? Um, my mommy said uncle is my father. What is she doing here? I asked the question, what exactly is she doing here? Uh see that please uh, let's just take it to your pill um, we can we can sort that it's all my fault just shut up you know there is nothing to sort out you are engaged to me she is engaged to another man so why is she in your house excuse you and who cares who cares if you're engaged to him or not now you listen and listen very attentively you being engaged to him means absolutely nothing to me did you hear that he is the father of my beloved son. And the earlier you get that into this thick brain of yours, the better for you. So why don't you just leave us alone? Go to Ifani, leave Ugonaya alone. I am no longer with Ifani. We were just friends before I met Prince. But I want to ask you a question. Why are you endangering the life of this man? Because you and I know that Charles would not be alive and see you date another man. So tell me, why are you here? So what? So what? Oh, Silva, you think I'm a fool like you who left your man miserably because you saw a good-looking young man that is well-to-do. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you. This man right here is mine. Oh my, please. And for your information, I have settled with Charles. <laughs> please, please, can you people just take a chill pill for once? We have a kid here. Mm. Besides your sisters. Oh, please shut up. This little bit is not my sister. You don't tell me to shut up. I will say it. If she is my sister, she will want my peace. But no, she wants everything I want. Now she wants you. But trust me, babes. You won't get him. Excuse me. And who wants to be your sister? Who wants to be close to you? Hello? Who wants to? Silver, you should be ashamed of yourself. You are nothing but a fool. Shut up! Shut up! Can you stop? Just let me Don't bring this in my house! Oh, no, no. I will take that from you! What? Silver has started again. And this time. I will make sure I teach her a lesson she will not forget in a hurry. Mama, what has she done again? Your sister just called me. 
that she met her at Ugonia's house, beat her up, and got her wounded. What is wrong with Silva? She has beaten more than she can chew. Let her come back and meet me. She will come and meet me in this house. What did you do to my daughter? What? Come back! Come, 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 come. Tell me! What? What is it? Eh? I've had enough of nonsense you to give to me in this house. What is it? Silver, did you just push my mom? Who is this rat? Are you sick or something? Did I touch her? Listen to her. But I've not seen anything yet. Um, who is Ebuka? I left I left him with his father. Is his father aware of this arrest? No, I didn't tell him, mother. I know if I had told him, he wouldn't have allowed me to do that, so I didn't tell him. I don't understand. Does he mean he's in support of what she did to you? Mommy, honestly, I don't understand Ugonaya in this particular issue. I think he's trying to play a double shuffle game. But all I know is that she's going to suffer for everything she has done. Yes. Um, you know what? Calm down. Whether he likes it or not, <laughs> he must settle with you. No, he doesn't have a choice. Oh, well, choice. He, he doesn't have a choice. Nonsense. 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 He doesn't. You're killing my daughter. Nonsense. I'm so proud of you. Nah, you are one of them. Next time, I will give you the best sitting on her back. Exactly. I will give her the best sitting on her back. You can take that poison out of your watermelon. Take it out. To maybe has made good her threat. She doesn't pick my calls anymore. She dodges me each time I visit the hospital she's working. It's no longer a child's play. Someone is trying to destroy my relationship with her. I must find out who the person is. Yes, I must find out. I went to the police station. You went to the police station? Yes. You mean you arrested Silver? Yes, I did. I mean, I had to do that. I won't let her inflict such wound on me and go scot-free. It's mean, never done. Do maybe you went too far. You huh? couldn't have taken such actions without telling me. What are you talking about? Weren't you here when she first attacked me? 
And you were blaming me? For real? Oh, I see. Oh, do make me what I'm trying to say. No matter what, alright? You both are sisters for crying Oh, please, out loud. I don't want to hear that. I honestly do not want to hear that. Just look at you. All the love you've been professing to me all are false. But we can sort this out without involving the police. There That's is what I'm trying nothing, to say. absolutely nothing to sort out. You don't love me, you don't care about me. You're only with me because of my son. But I promise you, my dear, I cannot be fooled again. Rubbish. Excuse me. What are you trying to do? What are you? I am going with my son. This your double shuffle game will not work on me again. There are two women in my life, yeah. I'm in love with one and the other of my kid. Hey, yeah. hey. Somebody tell me what to do. Hey. Has Nibi come back? She has not. Mom. What are we going to do about her? About who? Silva, of course. Mom, we can't allow her to spend the night in that police cell. By now, she must have learned her lessons. Sandra, if you are expecting me to go and bail Silva, <laughs> then you're making a mistake. She brought it upon herself, so let her face the consequences. Mom, come. Oh. Mama, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Auntie, good afternoon. Mom, you can't believe that Ugunai was very angry with me because I got Siva arrested. You can't believe that. I don't understand. How? I am telling you the truth. He was so angry. So I also got annoyed and left. Left with my son. No, he cannot take me for granted. He can't. But he doesn't have any right to be angry with you. Of course he doesn't have any right. I mean, I am his wife to be. He should understand that. And he got so angry because I arrested Silva. But whatever it is, he will never ruin my life. Never will he. Mom, you're not saying anything. What did I say? There are two women in my life. She and yeah. I'm in love with one and the other of my kids. Yeah. I'm sorry about what happened. Honestly, I. I blamed your sister when I learned about your arrest. Prince, I have told you, Dumibi is not my sister. Please just stop referring to her as my sister. She is not my sister. Oh, no, my love. No matter what, she still remains your stepsister. You know what? The best thing you can do for me right now is just to keep short. Don't talk to me again. I told you at the police station, don't speak to me. Let me just have my peace, please. Please, can I say one Thank more thing? Thank you. Should I tell Should I Should I tell Mommy, what exactly do you want me to do with this? Honestly, I I don't want to fool myself the second time. You will not make any mistake. Maybe the last thing you will do at this moment is to give in. Don't ever try it. Mommy, what if Ugonia decides to marry Silva? Am I not going to kill myself? He will do no such thing. Listen, you have to fight for the sake of your son. I mean, what do you mean, my son? What about me? Look at my neck. If all of this is because of my son, then I am not going to accept Ugonia again. It has to be about me as well. Uh -huh. My daughter, believe me, I will not stay alive and watch Siva marry Ugonia. Mommy, what I'm actually saying right now is that Ugonia can be very foolish at times. Don't 
be surprised he would go to the police station and bail Silva. <laughs> no matter what happens, he will never marry Silva. Call me an orphan. They say I am homeless. Why did you bring me back here? Relax here. Yeah. I, I got your new clothes. You can you can change change too. Thank you. Okay. So I made food and I have some fruits. Um, no, not not to worry. I'll, I'll rather just go home. No, no. You, you can't go, Silva. So, you still you still angry with me. I'm sorry. Okay. I don't want you to go home now. When you get home, you might start another trouble. Just stay back. Please. I can get you food, you eat, relax and rest. But I have to go to work tomorrow. I can't, I can't go to work from here. Hey. You can. It's my house. Please. Just stay back. Okay. Should I say I'm bored? I want you to keep me company. It's all right. Let me go in. You're crying. Oh, I'm fine. It's okay. I'll stay back. All right. Let, let me go get your food ready then, and and, and your clothes. You're, you're going to change too. So finally, I get to spend the night in Prince's house. Exactly what I have always wanted. I am going to take advantage of this. Definitely. Are we going to visit daddy? Okay, we'll discuss that once she returns from school, okay? Mom, are you quarreling with him? No, I am not quarreling with him. Yeah, why are we not visiting him? Oh my goodness, Ibuka, why do you talk too much? Have you suddenly forgotten that you were a child? But mom is my daddy and I want to All right, him. calm down, we will have that sorted out. Okay? <coughs> Auntie Silva, good morning. You thought you had your way right. Or you felt you had everything going for you. You thought I was going to pass the night at the police cell. Well, newsflash, darling. The same man you have been dragging with me came to the police station to bail me. Hmm. Wouldn't you want to know where I slept? Oh, she doesn't want to know. <laughs> but I'll let that pass, okay? <laughs> this is just the beginning. Definitely, I will win this race. Yeah. Have a nice day and use the rope properly for the boy. What did she say? Mommy, you can't believe this. Do you know that, oh my goodness, Ugunbe is a useless man? Do you know that he actually went and bailed her? I know just that. She slept in his house. And then later he will come calling, begging? What sort of a man is that? Uh, hold on. She slept in his house? Yes. And I'm sure he bought that dress she's wearing. That man is so stupid. Oh my god, Ugunbe is a big fool. Later he will come calling, begging me. What sort of a man is that? Where is your fucking? Calm down, please. Let me go to the phone. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning to you too. You're surprised to see me, right? 
and I won't let you crack your head too much. My boyfriend bailed me yesterday. I don't bother to ask where I slept. You see, you all, you all have failed. You have failed. Silva, do you really think I was part of the arrangements for your arrest? Oh, please, spare me. Don't even try to patronize me. Of course, you're part of every arrangement made against me in this house. If that's how you say it, fine. Then let it be. Of course, let it be. And so shall it be. I mean, obviously, I'm alone in this house. Alone. Silva, you're going to regret this one. Oh, no, please. Let me make this clear to you. I won't regret nothing. Not one thing. I'm fighting for my rights. I wish you good luck then. Well, thank you, dear stepsister. They say yeah, I am homeless And they try to take The only thing that gives me joy no. Please take this to Dr. Nat. Yes, <clears throat> My son's um, school bus will soon drop him at the gate. Once they arrive, please bring my son in. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Oh, God. Yeah, who is that? Come in. Hi, doctor. You have no right to come to my office again. You are not welcomed here. Please leave. I've come to see you. Why have you come to see me? Can you at least offer me a seat? No, you will not sit in my office. Please go to her. You have chosen her, right? Go to her. I don't care. Leave my son and I alone. You cannot break my heart once again. You can't. What exactly are you talking about? Of course you know exactly what I'm talking about. Do not give me that pretentious look. Siva slept at your house last night, didn't she? She did. And to think that I came and left in anger. You couldn't call me to know how I'm faring. And you're here trying to pretend as if you do not know what you have done. Like, seriously? Well, I didn't want to call you. I wanted to come so we can sort everything out face to face. I don't want to sort anything out with you anymore. I don't want to sort anything out. You have chosen her, right? Go to her. Get married to her. Do everything, whatever you want to do with her. Go ahead. I am done. Don't Leave us be. To me, be. Just take it chill. Leave me alone. Do not. Sit in my office. Daddy! Oh, my boy! How are you? No, fine, Dad. Good boy. How was school today? Fine, Dad. Dad, I know you must have come to reconcile with Mommy. Come. Sweetheart, I'm sorry. She has my child. Stop talking nonsense! You proposed to me before you met her again! I proposed to her first before we lost contact. <laughs> Please, my love, I promise I will make peace between the both of you. Shut up! No. Listen to me. You won't make a fool of me. I will let you make a fool of me. 